Last year, we released Mendix Data Hub. Today, you'll hear from one of the first customers about how they use Data Hub and why they used it, but we'll also tell you about the, some of the challenges that they encountered and how they overcame these challenges. My name is André Koulewijn, Product Manager Data Hub, and today I'm very happy to introduce Christian Weine and Art Bezemer telling about their use of Mendix Data Hub. So this is the agenda for today. Um, Christian will tell you about the MSMLIN, the company, the challenges it faces, and why uh, Data Hub was a useful tool for them to, uh, to help them build quicker and better applications. And then Art will tell you about how they implemented it and how they use Data Hub to improve productivity. So a quick recap. Um, what is Mendix Data Hub? Mendix Data Hub is a new product that we launched last year that really helps you use the data in your landscape, in your Mendix landscape, find it, discover it, and then simply drag and drop the data that's available in your landscape in your application and use it like it was local data. And finally, uh, a key element also is the governance part, where we help you understand where the data, uh, what, where data is shared, um, and also um, help you understand if you make changes, what the impact is of those changes. So last year we uh, launched three key components. First is a Data Hub catalog, where all data in Mendix applications are automatically registered, so you can easily discover and understand the data that's available for you for reuse in other applications. Then we also introduced the external entities. External entities allow you to just use data from other applications with the same concepts like you use local data. So it's a lot easier to use and improves the productivity. And finally, the Mendix uh, Data Hub landscape view. So that gives you an understanding of what applications are connected, how dependencies are uh, used, and it helps you also curate um, how data is shared. Now, these were the three key elements that we launched last year. At this Mendix world, we're introducing a number of additional new features. Among two of them, I want to call out here because they're also useful. Uh, for MSMLIN, and they were also based on the feedback from this customer. The first one is external access, which gives a, a company the ability to invite external users into the catalog of their company. For example, uh, MSMLIN can now introduce or invite um, first consulting into their catalog so they can build, uh, build applications using that catalog. And finally, what I want to uh, also mention here is external entity right. This gives you the ability to get data through external entities into your app, but also make changes and write them back to the original service. So this will be a key element going forward um, so that you can also use that data to update the data in services. Okay, let's go over to the presenters. Uh, Art will tell you all about the implementation and how to use data help and external entities to quickly and productively build the application. But first, Christian will tell you all about MSMLIN, the context, the challenges, and why uh, they saw a good fit with Data Hub for building their solution. Over to you, Christian. Thank you, André. Well, being a part of MSMLIN, as a global insurance, we're facing the same challenges as uh, well any of our competitors, which is basically facing a changing market, changing distribution channels. And we'll need to adapt to that and adapt to that quickly. And that's why we've shift using Mendix as well from a old school monolith system landscape to a more flexible uh, solution using various components that actually make up our entire insurance process. The reason for doing this is indeed to, uh, to be more agile, more flexible to uh, the changing environments that we have. Um, but also to make it more easier for us to, to bring new uh, products to market, for example. And that's one of the key drivers of, uh, as well of our architecture. It's the one product configuration, as we call it, where everything basically is stored in one application that drives all the other Mendix applications when it comes to process, when it comes to data as well. Um, another challenge that we have, of course, being an insurance company, is being a global insurance company, is that we have a lot of uh, a lot of regulators that look at us, how we do business, how we actually use data, how do we govern our data, and how do we uh, 
make sure that uh, data is protected and secure as well. That's part of, of our mission as well, to actually change that, make that better and, uh, and adapt there as well. And of course, we want to utilize data as well. More and more data comes available from different sources, if it's, uh, if it's governmental sources or the weather or anything like that. It's all data we want to use to make a better product and to service our, our customers better. Um, and that's all data that we want to store, we want to use in our applications. Of course, if you bring it down to the Mendix apps that we've built so far, uh, highlighted here in, uh, in orange, we, we actually noticed that a lot of these applications use the same data and want to reuse the same data. Of course, a very traditional thing in insurance is just copy your data everywhere you want to go. But in the modern landscape, that's not really possible anymore. So that's why we were facing the challenge. How do you actually use your data everywhere, but not copy it everywhere and just use it from that single point of, uh, of the truth, as we actually call it. Uh, data Hub was for us an interesting solution. It's a solution we could use as well from, from the start of, of our build, which will ma made it a lot interesting. And of course, together with, uh, with Mendix and their uh, expertise, but also the expertise of our, uh, of our partner, First Technology, um, we could move this forward and, and face the challenge with Data Hub as a solution. Uh, and I think we've done it very well, and uh, Art will definitely uh, show how we did it, what the challenges were from a technical perspective. Uh, but from a business perspective, definitely Data Hub will uh, move us forward. Thank you, Christian. Then over to the solution. How did we use Data Hub in the MSMLIN project? You can see our logical application model of our project. On the top, you can see the product management application. The product management application is used to configure the policy types, the insured object types, and the coverages and insured values that belongs to the products. This product catalog is exposed via our data through the data hub to the other application that you can see in the middle, the broker portal, the underwriting and party data application, and the claim management application. So all these three applications are using the same product catalog. These applications are using a non mendix policy management backend system. The other usage of data hub is in party data. The party data is stored in the underwriting and party data application, and that party data is used by claims management and the broker portal. Because there's also a need to create and update data for those applications, there are REST services in place to cater for that. On this slide, you can see a simplified domain model of our consumed product catalog. So you can see a product that is linked to several components, and those components are linked to each other via mapping entities. And this product catalog is exposed to all the three apps, and all the three apps are using this, this data model. Um, in those apps, we use a different domain model for the external entities, but the external entities are linked to local entities as well. We use limited number of associations, but of course we need some because you need to link a, a policy, which is a local entity, to a product configuration, which is an external entity. Then over to some challenges we had. One of the challenges was on security. As Christian mentioned, security is really important for an insurance company. You don't want to grant access to a broker, to other brokers' client data. So we need to identify the broker who is using the portal when consuming the data hub. The default security is constant-based authentication. But as we need to identify the user, we applied custom headers in a data hub call. Custom headers are built up in a microflow, where the credentials of the user that's using the portal are used. And on the consuming side, the application is returning as a session based on the user's credentials. The other challenge is how to keep your app performant when using Data Hub. In the example I want to show you, we need to retrieve a product based on an authorization level entity, which is a local entity, as you can see in this domain model. When you are working with local entities only, you would retrieve a list of authorization level from the database, iterate over that list, and retrieve over associations, the product group, and the product list in this case. But 
when you use Data Hub, you're using external entities. So every retrieve over association is a REST call. So a best practice when using Data Hub can be that you retrieve a list of authorization level from your local database, then retrieve a list of products via Data Hub, and then filter the product list on the authorization level. If your list of products is not enormous, this is way more performant. Then implementation conclusions. The first conclusion is that Data Hub simplifies the reuse of data across multiple applications. It's easy for the developers to understand and read the consumed data because the external entities are defined in a Mendix way. The developer is used of the way the data model is defined. One thing to keep in mind that it's still external data that you're working with. So every retrieve is a network call. So keep that in mind when building your app. And with custom authentication, we get full user-based control over access to data. Then back to Christian. All right, thank you, Art. Well, the technical implementation is always a challenge. Uh, it also is with Data Hub, but it definitely allows us to move forward quickly and also look at the future. Because for us, using Mendix, but also using Data Hub is not really a short-term solution. We want to really invest in the future and in the future of using data and, and improving our products while using Mendix and using other applications. So we're definitely investing in the future so we can be a data-driven organization and using Data Hub as one of the components within the whole suite of, of applications and processes that we use it will allow us to become there as well and actually use the data that we have so we can actually help our customers better and, and define products better for our clients as well. So for us, data definitely helped in the implementation and definitely helps us as well moving into the future as well. And the further we get into building more apps, using more data, we're definitely going to use it more and more. So if you want to know more about what we're doing as MSM Lim with Mendix, uh, there are definitely more places to watch and get that information at Mendix World. So feel free to look at that as well. And uh, well, thanks for watching. Thank you.